Ah, spring is here, sun is shining, birds are singing, and your motorcycle is waiting for an oil change, that is. Today, we're doing just that with my 2019 Honda Rebel 300. No matter the mileage, always change your oil at the start of riding season before you fire it up. Do this machine a solid and drain the swamp before you hit the streets. <laughs> Check out the description down below for product links. Hit that subscribe button and let's get cruising. Before we start, get your supplies together. This includes a new gasket, oil filter, and two liters of Honda's full synthetic HP4S 10W30 engine oil. You'll also want a socket ratchet, 12 millimeter socket for the drain bolt, eight millimeter socket for the full bolts on the filter, and the socket extension to make life easier. We also have rags on hand, a makeshift oil pan, and a newspaper to line the surrounding area beneath the bike. As you can see through the sight glass, mine is pretty disgusting. While sitting upright on the Honda Rebel, the level should fall somewhere between these two lines, not too low and not too high. The reason you should always change your oil before you fire the engine up in the spring is because rust particles can flake off into the oil and scour bearings and other parts during operation leading to wear. That's not how you treat your baby. Put our new washer on. Although reusing the drain plug seal washer is not unheard of, it's good practice to replace it at every oil change. If not, just be sure to carefully monitor after sealing to ensure there aren't any leaks. I'll drop a link below for anything you might need on Honda's website in terms of replacement parts. Next, we're gonna head over to the filter side and use an eight millimeter socket to take off these four filter bolts. Make sure you got your pan under the filter during the removal. Now take off the cover and make sure you don't drop the spring into your oil pan. That guy good. Take a look at it, inspect it. You can see if it's uh, springy. If it's springy. Mm -hmm. Zero those miles. Man. Cool, at this right? point, simply pull the oil filter Ooh, out. That. Now, remove the gasket and wipe out any excess remaining oil around the crank casing. It's good practice to lube any o-ring before install. Just dab your finger in fresh engine oil and apply it around the o-ring. This keeps it from ripping, binding, and causing leaks. See that little tube is what puts oil into the filter and then it comes out through the fan. There now, there you go, put that on. After you gently pop the new filter in, you're going to put the cover and the new gasket back on. Careful to keep the spring in place as you do this so it's in the correct position after you've tightened the bolts back on. Hand tighten the bolts firmly so they're snug, but make sure they're not too tight. Over tightening can do more damage than good. According to Honda's specifications, if you're using a torque wrench, it's going to be 9 foot-pounds for the filter bolts and 18 foot-pounds for the drain bolt. Always refer to your Honda manual just to make sure. That's it. We're going to pour in approximately 1.5 liters, one and a half jugs of the HP4S 10W30 engine oil. So you might have approximately half a jug left over. Next, start up the bike and let it idle for a bit. Rev it up for about 10 seconds. Then when checking the oil levels, be sure to be sitting upright on the bike to get an accurate reading of the oil level. If you need more, just add 100 milliliters at a time until it's just right. Thanks for watching and it's great to have you here. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Any questions you have, let us know in the comments. Until next time, have a great safe ride.